What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio12Tutorials and pick up your copy of Arrangement Arsenal. Yes, I designed it in Studio 1.3 and yes, it works in Studio 1.4. 10 brand new arrangement from chart topping songs that will show you the inner workings of arrangements. You just put it in, um, create around it, and boom, you are ready to go. Hard part of creation done for you. Now, today we're going into how to create create trap patterns and how to set up um, the uh, the step sequencer inside Studio One for trap. Um, it was a little tricky. Um, there's some problems with the step sequencer. Gonna do a separate video on that. Um, probably could have caught that if we had people who actually, you know, uh, worked with step sequencers in like a hip hop capacity. Um, when we were creating this thing, I have feelings, but it's all right. We got it. We're gonna take care of it. So first things first, I have a instance of impact loaded up with all my sound oracle kits on it i'm just going to press a uh, control or uh, command shift p and that is the shortcut to create a pattern that is how you have to bring the pattern editor up otherwise if you double click you're going to create um a MIDI event which is different from a pattern right that's gonna get you the piano roll and, um, and and the drum editor which is two different things right so now we got the pattern editor up boom now um, if you guys are you know if you, if you guys are um, w working in a fruit based DAW and looking at something new putting your big boy pants on want to get into something pro um, this is this is like oh, okay I'm kind of used to that there's the dark blocks there's the gray blocks um, but where it's gonna trip you up is is, is the the resolution so um, that I found the easiest way to make this to make this thing work for what we do is you want you want to go ahead and you'll set this to um you could set it to to uh, to eight steps, and then set the. Uh, I'm sorry, set set it to set it to 32 steps, and then set your resolution to eighth notes, and that's going to get you um, this situation where if you're working in halftime, your snares pop up here, I believe, if I'm correct. All right, so then, so now we can start to get into. A more complex or a longer pattern we'll just draw on a kick real quick All right, cool. So we got that. We got that going on. Um, let me see. Is that loud enough? Yeah, y'all are good there. All right. So now the next thing is you 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 want to you want to get into the hi hats, right? So we'll just go ahead and we will go here. And this is the this is one of the things that makes this like way better than using a fruit based doll is you don't have to right click and go into um you know and and pick every two steps, every three steps. Nah, that's that's right here for you. So you click it, boom, you're filled up every step. All right, so now here comes the difficulty. Typically, if you were using if if you were using like the uh, the FL st uh, step sequencer, um, you would you would right click on this, send to piano roll, and you would be able to you know do your uh, do your slices and your triplets and everything. Um, Studio ones does not work like that. So what you have to do if you want to get if you want to get rolls going on in your um, in your um, in your hi hats and, and and your other and your other steps is you you want to use this repeat function and what it is is the number of uh, that it uh, that you see down here that is the number of times this note is going to repeat within the duration of this step so if this is an eighth note um, you know I'm gonna get well, let's just listen to it. it's gonna be a mess right so if you wanted to if you wanted to make like if you wanted to make like a, a typical like 16 note triplet, um, that would over the duration of an eighth note because I'm used to seeing it on a on a piano roll for so long. That is that is three notes. So to get that sound, you do it you, you do it at three. 
All right, so if I wanted to do if I wanted to do similar rolls here, uh, do it like that. Now, say I wanted this kick to go boom, 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 like um, you know, like a like a typical trap pattern. I, I wanted it to be sixteenth notes instead instead of the eighth note. All right, so sixteen uh, a sixteenth note occurs uh, uh, twice within an eighth note. So we just we just run that. Yeah, you gotta do you gotta do a little bit of math, but you know you gotta be you gotta be kind of you gotta be kind of smart to be a producer. So why not? All right, and that's that's how that's how you go about making the you know a basic trap drum pattern. As you can see, super simple, super easy, straightforward. Especially um, you know with the powerful uh, techniques of being able to um, you know you can every every kit every sound that you put onto a pad using the left and right tool you can actually browse that entire folder you know so so if you have your favorite packs like like my sound oracle packs right this is all this is all the cassette drum packs uh you know kick snare hi-hat perk this is all the um been trapping this is the oracle 3 and this is the new one that they came out with so anyhow that's how you get it done that's how you get it done quick keep it simple don't be basic don't forget to stop by studio one tutorials and pick up your premium membership it is 50 cents a day and we will see you on the next one